Welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have some Chanel Dollar Tree Decor DIYs. All of these are inexpensive to make. The most expensive one I made was $5, but a lot of them actually will cost you $1 as long as you have a printer and ink at home. Now some of these DIYs I actually uploaded very close to two years ago or two years ago. I'm not quite sure, but very close to it at least. And so I decided to include them in this video because I know over the past years, I have gotten a lot more subscribers, but I do have new ones. And I'm gonna show the new ones in the beginning and then the older ones at the end. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up. And make sure you like it, especially if you're somebody who likes to see other DIYs than the farmhouse DIYs that I tend to do a lot. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Currently, I am sitting down, slowly getting ready. This nursery, I am at that point in pregnancy where standing up is just really not the most fun unless I'm walking and just continuously moving. Anyways, um, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm just rambling. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and click the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. With that being said, let's begin the video. Okay, for all of these projects, you're going to want to print out some images of whatever logo it is that you're going to use. So I typed in Chanel logo into Google, then I go to images and there's so many images to choose from. All you have to do is save the one that you like. After saving it, you can then print it. Some of the images you might have to resize. When I resized my images, I just used Microsoft Paint. There's programs you can use online to resize images if you don't really know how to do it on Microsoft Paint or you don't have it. For the most part, you can find images on Google Images that don't have to be resized. For images like the Chanel number no. five perfume, you can just type in Chanel perfume logo or Chanel perfume number no. five logo. If you want something that has like that marble Chanel background, you would type in like Chanel marble background. There's so many images to choose from and so many different things you can do. Let's start with a Chanel shopping bag. From Dollar Tree, you want to pick up some solid color gift bags. The color is up to you. They got them in white and black. I'm going to be using one of the white ones. Now, it was a little too long for me, so I cut my bag in half because I wanted it to be short and wide. After I have it cut, I take the bottom, open it up, and then I take the top part of the bag and place that over the bottom part of the bag. You can go ahead and glue them together if you like. I just place them over each other. Next up, I printed out a Chanel picture that had a black border. And I had to resize it and made it a little bit smaller. You can make it to fit the entire size of the front of your bag. I just had mine a little bit smaller. So I go ahead, I cut it out. I actually have this like Cricut paper cutter and oh my gosh, I love it. I don't know how I went without a paper cutter before. To glue the piece of paper down, I just used a regular school glue stick. It was the Elmer school glue stick in purple, it like disappears. I just used that. Then I decided I wanted to paint the handles black, so I just used black acrylic paint to paint them black. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I wanted them black, so I painted them black. I'm going to be putting some flowers inside of here, so I'm going to place some styrofoam inside of the bag first so that it holds the flowers nice and upright. The styrofoam I got from Dollar Tree and I also ended up using some of the dry floral foam just because I only had one piece of the styrofoam. Then I go ahead and take these pink roses from Dollar Tree. I only ended up needing two bundles of these and usually when I get Dollar Tree flowers there's only like five stems to a bundle. This time around there was six to a bundle, so I only needed two of them. So I fill my bag up with those flowers. The styrofoam helps the flowers from not falling all over into one side of the bag. And I'm good to go. How cute is this thing? Oh my gosh, I love it. And you can make it in any color that you want to. Now the next DIY, oh my gosh, is so cheap. If you have a printer at home and you already have ink, this is only going to cost you a buck to make. So what you want to do is you want to print out some small perfume labels, just Google sh whatever it is that you want. And then you want to get some perfume bottles from Dollar Tree. Now they have knockoffs of these scents, but that doesn't mean it looks like the bottle. So as long as you're okay with it not looking exactly like the Chanel number no. five perfume bottle, then you shouldn't have an issue. If you want it to look like the Chanel number no. five perfume bottle, you can go ahead and Google those already on like eBay and buy them. So what you want to do is you want to take the labels that you printed out. Of course, you're probably going to have to resize it to fit the perfume bottle. And then you just glue those labels to your perfume bottle. I used a glue stick to do this again. 
the reason I like using glue sticks for projects like this is because the paper that you place on top of the whatever it is that you're putting it on it doesn't leave a bunch of like glue lines where if I took that regular printing paper and I used hot glue I might end up with like hot glue streaks in the paper so that's why I like to use a glue stick for these now the printing paper that I use is the straight up printing paper it's the cheap stuff it is not the photo printing paper if you want to use that you can go ahead and do that I did this the most cheapest and expensive way possible now I wanted to make something that the bottles can go on top of so I ended up getting one of these square mirrors from Dollar Tree and this one has like a border to it so there's a silver glitter they also have it in a gold glitter I printed out a Chanel little logo cut it out and then I'm gonna be gluing that to the mirror and that's all I did and then I just placed the perfume bottles on top of it I have a cute little perfume holder display whatever you want to call it it looks really really nice and like I said if you want a bottle that looks like those more high-end perfume bottles you can find empty ones on eBay for our next DIY I printed out this Chanel perfume drawing it almost looks like to me all I did was Google Chanel perfume bottle picture and that popped up so I printed that out I didn't have to resize it and now I'm going to be using some of the diamond wrap that Dollar Tree carries they have it in gold silver blue and pink I'm gonna be using the gold and the silver so what I do is I take that adhesive wrap and I cut strips to fit around the image that I printed out again I didn't resize this image I found it on Google Images I saved it and then I printed it out and now I'm adding the adhesive wrap so I add the gold to the bottom and then I take the silver and I cut it out to fit the top of the perfume bottle I'm going to be placing this inside of a picture frame so I found this 4 by 6 picture frame at Dollar Tree I go ahead and cut the picture to fit the inside of the picture frame place it back inside of the picture frame and voila I have this pretty shiny Chanel picture that really shines compared to the other stuff that I printed out can you imagine doing that with like the Swarovski crystals it would be so nice another inexpensive DIY you can do is just buy some picture frames that you like from Dollar Tree and then print out images that you like of the Chanel perfume bottle it doesn't have to be Chanel obviously you can choose anything that you like but you just get a picture frame cut the picture out to fit the inside of the picture frame and place it inside super pretty another thing I did was I found a perfume bottle that I liked I cut it out and then I had a piece of contact paper I had already placed over the glass from a Dollar Tree picture frame it was marble contact paper so I took the contact paper placed it on the glass put it back inside of the frame and then I ended up gluing that perfume bottle on top of that glass that has the contact paper and this actually came out looking really pretty the marble really just makes it stand out and if I would have just printed out an image that had marble already in the background it doesn't look the same trust me I tried it, it does not look the same so you got these really inexpensive Dollar Tree Coco Chanel pictures literally this DIY too is stupid easy Dollar Tree carries really pretty gift boxes I found these marble ones that have a gold top so all I did was find a label that I wanted to place on top of them I cut it out and then I glue it to the box so it's essentially a lot of DIYs where you're just gluing something to something and it looks nice so I just have these little Coco Chanel boxes and you can put whatever you want inside of them if you have them like on your vanity you can go ahead and put like lipstick inside of them um, maybe even little single eyeshadows it's completely up to you but this oh my gosh two of them cost me two dollars to make from Dollar Tree you'll pick up one of their vases I like this one that has kind of a square shape to it and then I printed out a bunch of these Chanel number no. five perfume labels in different sizes because I didn't know which one I was going to need for the vase so I tried out two different sizes and I like the smaller one that I printed out the best to attach the paper to the vase I'm just using a glue stick I don't want to use a hot glue gun because it'll make the paper bunch up and melt a little bit and then I didn't want to use a school glue just in case it made streaks on the back so I just went with a glue stick 
Now for the water, obviously you're going to need water and then you're going to need food coloring. Dollar Tree does carry food coloring, but it's hard to find. I've spoken with multiple employees. They say whenever they get them in, people just buy them out. So you're probably going to have better luck just going to your local grocery store or Walmart, Target, whatever it might be. I want pink water, so I'm using red food coloring. I tried to put a very small amount inside of the water, but it did turn red. To make the water lighter, I just had to remove some of the red water and add more just plain water to dilute that color and you just would do that with any color that you want to make a little bit lighter now if you're using real flowers in this vase the dye is going to eventually going to dye your real flowers i'm using fake flowers just be aware of that and that's it for this Chanel flower vase. Now moving on to the Chanel tray. From Dollar Tree, I picked up these 5x7 silver picture frames. These frames are a little bit deeper than their other picture frames, and that's why I went with them. You can use two three four picture frames it just depends on how deep you want this to be i'm going with just two of them you'll be removing all the contents from the picture frame and then attaching the picture frames together till you get your desired depth now i want this painted so i'm going to be using black paint to make the tray all black if you decide that you want to paint your tray and you're going to be using an acrylic paint to paint it what you want to do is stipple that color around the picture frame to create an initial first layer that way the second and third layers will adhere better to the picture frame and give you more of an opaque look now i prefer to spray paint but i want to share that with you guys just in case you do plan on using an acrylic paint once you get that first layer down, it'll be much easier to paint the rest and get the nice, pretty, opaque look that you want. And then you won't end up with a bunch of streaks if you stipple that color on, which basically I mean like dabbing that paintbrush or sponge onto the frame. Now you want to take whatever logo it is that you printed out. I printed out this Chanel logo. Again, you're going to have to resize them to be the size that you want on whatever it is that you're making and then you want to cut out the letters from the logo now you can go ahead and just kind of cut out the entire word and then glue it that way but it looks a little bit fake just because it doesn't blend in too nicely with the paint color that's already on the picture frame so it's better just to cut out the letters and then glue them one by one and to glue them again i'm using a glue stick it's just easier to use and like i said if you want to use a hot glue gun it kind of melts the paper so it's just better to use a glue stick or like a regular school glue I recommend printing out two images of the logo and using one as a guide for when you start gluing down the letters. That way you can get the proper spacing that you need and it doesn't look all wonky or lopsided. It's just an easy way to do this. Now what you're going to do is put the contents back in the tray. I started off with putting back one of the glasses that came with the frames into the tray and I had an image printed out that I wanted to be on the bottom of the tray and basically it was just this Chanel logo that's on top of a marble background but I go ahead I put that first piece of glass in then I put the Chanel picture on top of the Chanel image I placed one of the borders that came with the picture frame and then I put another piece of glass that came with the second picture frame and then finally I just top it off with the backing of the picture frame but I make sure I remove the little stand just because if I leave that there the tray isn't going to lay flat and that's it for the tray, which I love so, so much. Now moving on to the books. Dollar Tree carries so many books, but I recommend looking for books that have a solid background to the hardcover. So you can see this book is all black beside the wording that's on the side. So what you could do is paint over the wording that you see with a black paint or a white paint, whatever color it is that you want the book to be. And then you can cut out the letters from your logo and then glue it on that way. Or you can go ahead and cut just the strip of the logo with the background color already there. And as long as it matches the book, you'll be able to glue that entire piece directly to the book without having to cut out each individual letter. You just got to make sure that the logo that you print out fits the length and width of the book. Another way you can do this is by buying books that are a little bit smaller that could fit a piece of printing paper around it or around most of it. So I got this little book. I go ahead and take a piece of printing paper and I'm able to wrap it around the book. So I just go ahead and put glue stick all over that book, attach the printing paper, 
and then I take my logo and I just cut it out so it fits perfectly on the side of the book. And because the logo I'm using just has a white background to it, I can cut that strip out without having to cut out all the individual letters and it blends in really nicely with the printing paper just because they're both printing paper, it just matches. Another thing you can do is buy a book where the paper cover has a solid color underneath the paper and the paper is already cut perfectly to fit the book so all you have to do is flip it over and then glue that to your book. If you do this, more than likely that paper is going to be glossy, so it makes more sense to use glossy printing paper, but if you're not going to be using glossy printing paper and just regular printing paper like I did, it's best to cut out the letters from the logo and then glue it rather than keeping that background um, from the regular printing paper because it's just not going to blend in nicely with the book. And that's it for the luxury books. Now moving on to the Chanel perfume decor piece. From Dollar Tree you want to get one of their wall art boxes. They have this in a rectangle shape and then a square. I'm using the square. Now you're going to be putting glitter on top of this but you know it's really hard to cover the entire thing perfectly in glitter so I recommend doing a base color so if you're using gold glitter like I did you want to use gold paint if you're using like blue glitter use blue paint just so anywhere there isn't glitter you don't have to like see the image that was previously on the box if you're using acrylic paint just like the picture frames you're gonna have to put a base down and then you're gonna have to build that color up just because this type of material doesn't take acrylic paint the best I recommend spray painting it it's just so much easier once you got your box painted, you can then put the glitter on. I'm using gold glitter that I got at Dollar Tree. Those two bottles were enough to cover the front and the four sides. When I put the glue down, I use a makeup sponge to smear the glue out so it's just flat. I don't really want pieces of glitter to adhere to the glue funny so I have like a bunch of glue and glitter lines going through the image. It's better to smear out the glue so you get a nice even finish to it. For the top of the perfume, the image that I saw, they used a foundation in a box. I don't want to do that. I'm just using a silver glitter piece of crafting paper. Dollar Tree does carry them in a four pack, but the one I'm using is from Michaels. And all I'm doing is I'm cutting out a strip and rolling it up to create a cylinder looking piece. And that'll be the, I guess the bottom of the top of the perfume okay I don't know if that makes sense and then I cut out another strip and bend it around to look similar to the top of the Chanel perfume bottle I then glue that piece to the top of that cylinder piece and then cut out a piece that's gonna lay on top of the cap of the perfume bottle that way you don't see a big old hole there to glue down the Chanel logo I knew I couldn't use a glue stick this time so at first I used regular school glue but it didn't adhere nicely to the glitter so I had to mix in a little bit of hot glue. I don't recommend putting a lot of hot glue because honestly it's going to start melting the paper. It's going to bunch it up a bit. Try to use as little hot glue as possible. Then you're done with the perfume bottle. But there's a side note to this. The box itself, sometimes it wants to fall over. So you want to place something in the back of it so it stands properly. And that's only if you don't plan on hanging it. If you plan on hanging it, there's already something in the back of these boxes where you can hang it and you won't have that problem. That's it for these Chanel DIYs using Dollar Tree products. Obviously it doesn't have to be Chanel. It could be literally anything else that you want it to be. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.